Introducing Super Comma. The comma can be a super important punctuation mark. It can save a sentence from certain disaster. What kind of disasters may be caused by not using commas? Suppose a sentence meant to say, I made a giraffe, whale, and a fox. But the sentence lost its commas and said, I made a giraffe, whale, and a fox. So, let's learn how to use commas and save the world from an invasion of giraffe whales. Commas separate parts in sentences to help them to be easily understood. Commas tell us to pause briefly when reading. No, not bear pause. I mean to stop for a short time. <laughs> when a sentence has a list of three or more things in it, use one less comma than the number of things in the list. This sentence has a list of three animals that were fed. A horse, a pig, and a hen. We will use two commas in our list. Add commas after items in the list until you use them up. So we'll add a comma after the first animal and the second animal, but not the third animal. I fed the horse, pig, and hen on the farm. If only two things are in the list, you do not use a comma. I fed the pig and horse on the farm. But if there are three or more things in the list, if we forget the commas, it could be a disaster. I fed the horse, pig, and hen on the farm. <coughs> this video is from the McGruffy Press Letter Logic First Grade Online Course, Lesson 61. You can see more Letter Logic samples at McGruffyOnline.com. You can explore McGruffy Press printed curriculum at McGruffy.com and play learning games on the McGruffy Playground. Thanks for watching!